What's up everybody? Welcome back to Tidal Gardens. Today I'd like to talk about frog spawn just a little bit. So frog spawn is a large polyp stony coral. It's one of the most popular large polyp stony corals. I would say largely due to its appearance, how it flows. It resembles a soft coral in many ways. Uh, they have these long, delicate tentacles. It's a very aesthetically pleasing coral. It's very beginner friendly. And I think a lot of people that are getting into large polyp stony corals, or stony corals in general, um, a lot of times frog spawn might be their first choice. Don't hold my feet to the fire over this, but I think that there's both wall varieties and branching varieties of frog spawn. The vast, vast majority of the frog spawn I encounter are the branching variety. Now, I tend to stay more towards the branching regardless because I'm more interested in aquaculture and there's really no comparison when you're looking to propagate these things long term, which you would rather have between the wall varieties of any euphilia and the branching varieties. The, the branching varieties are much easier to cut, much faster growing. So I don't know if I've ever if I've seen a wall variety in, a, in quite some time. And maybe it's because if I ever do see them, my mind just completely scans right past it and goes right to the, the branching types. Who knows? Now, they're called frog spawn because they look like the eggs from frogs. Kind of has that, that multi-bubble looking appearance. I will see if I have some B-roll of my trip to Japan where we went during a hike we actually came across this entire pool of of all these different egg sacs from frogs so if I have that footage and it actually looks good I'll put it in. Of all the euphilia I would say that frog spawn are probably the fastest growing at least the, the, that branching variety let's just for the sake of simplicity let's just talk about the branching types. They form little buds at the base of the coral, which I'd say over the course of a few months turn into full-sized heads. And if the colony is doing well, more and more and more buds form. So if you were to purchase a single head of frog spawn, it could turn into eight heads within a year, just for the simple fact that of the way that it grows additional heads. So let's talk for just a moment about the flow that these corals require. You could put them in higher flow, but what tends to happen is the colony itself will retract quite substantially. This particular coral that you're seeing here was purchased from a local hobbyist, and in his tank, the entire colony was a manageably, not small, but kind of a medium-sized colony. But in our system here, which has much less flow, it extended to a point where this colony probably wouldn't really even fit back into his tank. It takes up that much space. So if you want it to look for a more contracted look, higher flow will get you that. I kind of like a more extended appearance because I like how it, it blows uh, more gently in that moderate to lower flow. But you still do want to provide it a good amount of flow just to make sure that there's enough water movement going through the colony and making the making the tentacles sway. That's just my personal preference as far as aesthetics goes. As far as lighting, I really don't see a lot of benefit to dumping tons of light on these corals. Frog spawn are, are very consistent in their coloration. They might have a slightly better appearance in higher light, but any increase in light, you're really running the risk of overexposing a coral like frog spawn. And if you do that, the, the negative possibilities so greatly outweigh the minute possibility that you might get a slightly better highlight on that coral, for example. Um, like I said, they're very consistent in coloration. I would stick to something closer to 100 par, if not a little bit less, just to be safe. They would actually grow fine in much less lighting. Down to 50 par, perfectly ample lighting to keep this coral alive. And healthy, not even just barely holding on. It'll be just fine. There's several different species of frog spawn. 
Right now, I would say that the most popular are these Australian varieties. Um, I believe they're the, the species is Yayamensis, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They tend to be a little bit slower growing, but the nice thing about these particular frog spawn are their colors. Uh, they tend to be uh, much more, I guess, like rich and like the oranges, like the, the, the vibrancy is kind of next level when it comes to those corals. Let's touch on feeding for just a minute. So, euphilia in general are not the most aggressive corals when it comes to feeding. And it kind of is ironic considering their appearance. You would think that you know, these long tentacled corals would just reach out and grab all the food. But they're really not. They, they, don't, they don't seem appetized by much of anything. They're kind of like, I don't know, cats. My cats don't just eat everything, you know? I don't know if it's really worth it to go out of your way to try to directly feed these things. Um, we don't, for example. I mean, we kind of broadcast feed, whatever happens, happens, because a lot of times they, they don't successfully grab the food. Then they don't uh, put the food in their mouth fast, faster than a fish might come along and rip it away. And if they get bothered during that feeding process by too much flow or fish kind of like harassing them, they're not gonna they're not gonna eat. And then on top of that, even if they successfully get the food into their mouth, I've seen them spit it back out really quickly and quick enough that you would not think that they digested any of it. Is it worth it? Probably not. I mean, to each their own. I'm, I'm sure that if they actually ingested the food and, and digested it, it would benefit. But in, in practice, I think that you're more likely to have an algae problem than successfully feeding these guys. Okay, well, that pretty much does it all for my thoughts on the care tips involving frog spawn. Hope to see you all next time. Happy reefing, guys.